Yeah, I mean, I think um, you're right. We were we didn't make a three. I don't think forever. It seemed like there in the fourth, we had a couple point blank uh, front of the rimmers, and we all knew it, right? We were talking about it a couple of the timeouts. Man, we gotta we gotta gather our, everything we got when we get it inside and try to finish, and but we we couldn't couldn't quite do it. But uh, yeah, big stop at the end. Good job of pressing up and getting them, you know, disjointed down there. You ran Matt Thomas for I think 15 straight minutes in the first half. What- how do you guys keep getting big performances out of guys who basically never play? Um, well, our, our uh, assistant coaches and stuff, Doug, do a great job of keeping those guys ready. I think the mindset of, you know, you never know and, and stay ready um, maybe, maybe helps a little bit once in a while when you don't hit the scouting report because you haven't played for a while too, right? So that's, that's another thing that's, that's okay. Um, and he played great, man. He came in there, and uh, like always, every time he raises up, you you think it's going in, and he, he banged a bunch of them in. That was a big lift. That group was awesome first half, right? They were incredible. They turned a, they turned a lackluster start to the game into a energetic game, and, and they, they were great. Why did you decide to go with Terrence and Kyle's spot, and how do you think he did? Um, why did I decide? I just, I just uh, wanted the spacing, I think. You know, and he's been shooting the ball really well, and I just wanted the spacing out there along with, I wanted to make, I mean, kind of consider Pat our backup point guard, and I wanted him to be able to come in and, and sub for either him or Fred and, and, and go from there. That all bench five some you said, brought a lot of energy. I mean, you trusted him to start then in, into the second quarter, and then there was a timeout where they put the starters in, and you still kept them in. And O'Shea ran the handler and hit McCaw for a three. I mean, how, how do you trust him through against the starters? And did that play surprise you? Yeah, I mean, I think it was, um, it got to the point of about a minute 10 left in the first, and I hadn't taken out Pascal and somebody else. Was it Fred? Maybe. No, no. no. Somebody, somebody, it was Terrence, I think. And, and, uh, and I just wanted to get them out quick. It was a free throw break, and I decided to go with them there. And then you know how it is. It's like you, you get them going. I thought they were playing with great defensive energy, right? They were getting out in the open floor, and, and they guarded them for, geez, they guarded them great for about six straight minutes, you know? And then they did their job, got them down to about five and a half or something. We started filtering the guys back in. It was just based on their energy, really. They, they had it going defensively, and that was creating some offense for them.